Greetings, Earthlings. My name is Zero Jake, and welcome back to Space Engineers. Uh, so, last episode, we finished construction of this lovely construction zone with this uh, lovely projector kind of module thing here. Now, uh, for the past two hours, or possibly an hour, I've been testing, well, building and testing a new ship, uh, which is going to be something that we could use to scout for resources on this planet basically. Uh, it's an atmospheric ship and so therefore we'll use atmospheric thrusters and all that. Let me just adjust the microphone so that it's in a better position. Uh, yeah, so uh, the design uh, is something that we're going to build using our lovely little construction zone here and then after we've built it and you know flown around for a bit so that I can show it off uh, we'll build uh, some landing pads because this is not as big as the dropship because it's not a it's not a cargo carrier, it's a scout vessel. So, uh, first of all, uh, we need to go and access uh, the outpost, go to projector, and then access blueprints, and then I've got scout. There you go, there's the scout ship. Uh, we just need to now move it into position, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to here, go to outpost again, and then remote control. And then we should be able to move it now. So uh, we want to move it this way a bit, possibly up to there, and then we'll move it. Uh, we need to move it up to so that it's actually landed, and then uh, we need to move it across this way. Uh, noting that I have to then change my position so let's go get the uh, movable camera and we just need to make sure that it's aligned with this okay um, well the back bit is aligned with this so that we can actually you know glue it together and everything so go back here go to outpost go to remote control go to control uh, so we wanna that should be in line okay good right uh, yeah, so what we need to do now is we need to just, uh, well, attach that, attach the thing. And then we should have that engine being constructible and then that means all, all good things happen. Uh, so now what we do is we just, uh, well, first of all, get out of here because I don't want to have to die due to my welders. Uh, and then we want to go to... Uh, well, I, I kind of want the spectator camera to be able to see this properly. Noting that I am using the spectator camera quite a lot, but that's because it's really useful. Uh, so if we go here, we go and access the outpost, and then the welders, and then on. Oh my, that's nice. And it should technically do all of the blocks as well. If it doesn't, then that's going to be a problem. Uh, yeah, so since it's not doing all of the blocks, um, this is this is going to be slightly problematic. Why, why why do you not want to do this? It might be it might just because it might be just because this thing is entirely buggy because you know projectors and everything. So uh, first of all, check one. We're going to go into here and check to see if we have the materials. Materials we have. No motors. Wow, we, we ran out. Did it just build some more while I was gone? Yes. Right. Uh, so we're, we're going to need more motors. What else do we need? Uh, we need more motors. We need... Yeah, just motors. Um, we don't need thruster components. Yeah. Motors and small steel tube are things that we need. Lovely. Um, can we make motors out of stuff that we've already got? That's the question. 
Right, so let's go to production. Uh, motors, you require nickel and iron. I have iron, so I just need a source of nickel. Right. Uh, what, what else do we have that could be a container of nickel? Uh, metal grid might be one. Yeah, L let's just check things to see if they contain nickel, and then we'll d uh, and then we'll uh, disassemble some of them. Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't want that. Thank you. Don't want that. I, I don't want to build them. I just want to see detector components. And we do have some detector components as well, so that's good. Uh, right, so let's get some. Let's disassemble like a hundred detector components. You know, when that happens. When that happens, because it should be working. Missing hundred. Oh, probably because I don't have detector components. No, I don't. Oh, I do. Well, I, I, I have 47, but that should be working. Let's get these. Let's throw them in here. Right, okay, so that should give us the nickel that we need. And then what what else do we need? Uh so that's the nickel. And then we just need to build motors out of it. Okay. So um motors. Motors. Motor. No 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 no. Production motors. There we go. Uh, go to assemble, go to motors, build some. Right, well, iron, you say? Right. Well, it seems like uh, n they don't want to use the conveyor system at all, because these inventories are linked, he says. Um, that's worrying. Yeah. Yeah. So it it is linked. So what's your problem? Right. Okay. So that 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 should have given us some motors, right? Motors are probably going to be used up very quickly. I really, really should decrease the. Um, the intervals on that thing. Uh, right, this program, program, block. Uh, and then, no, no, timer, timer, that's what I want, timer. And then, uh, stop, change delay, two seconds. And then, start. Thank you. Right, let's double check to see if we've got, you know, the, the entire thing running yet. Oh, it, oops. Um, <laughs> I just ran in there thinking, yeah, that'll be totally fine. The world is still up. No, okay. So I'm going to need to go back home and get some more components. And um, for some reason, this thing doesn't want to weld. But then again, does anything. Um, you should be welding. It's weird. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got a thing that I could try. Go to outpost go to what do we want what do we want we want I've just forgotten oh yeah we want welders off on that didn't help mm. uh, let's go to remote control no 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 control control and then we want control wherever that is, here. Now, we could do the dangerous thing and unlock it. Yeah? Uh, I, I now can't access it, can I? No. Right. Ye mm. uh, that that was kind of stupid. I needed to turn on the antenna for it. Uh, let's go to. Well, just turn them off for a second, so that I can go collect them. Well, so, no, so that I can go here. That that is broadcasting. But 
wh why are you not doing the thing? Small out of gyroscope. S ah, right, okay. Uh, yes, enable broadcasting, please. Let's run back. Oh, we can see nickel. Yes. Oh, there's a bunch of nickel over there. Right. Yeah, so I can mine that instead. We have the resources. Good. Uh, anyway, outpost, go. No, 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 no. Projector. And then control. Well, no. Uh, Reinitialize. Isn't that something that's supposed to be there? Let me go to control. Control. Go to spectator. Uh, and then we, we kind of want to seven and then move this around a bit. Okay, right. That That's not going to work. Okay, let, let's lock in place again. And then let's add, let's go to projector, uh, we want to add, I swear there's a reinitialize, okay right let's try that, in fact what we can do, let's go to projector and then we can go uh, remove or rather, show only buildable, right? So it should show only buildable stuff, which I guess I could do by hand. Uh, I've, I've probably turned off the world of stuff, like, yes, I have. Weld. Mm, yes, you, th this is quite annoying. Uh, let's just. <laughs> this was supposed to work properly. Uh, right, we have steel plate. So why aren't you? Why aren't you welding? Grateful junk of stuff. Uh, right, let's let, let's just run. Uh, oh, it's probably trying to weld stuff that can't be welded yet. That might be it. Okay. Uh, do I have my drill? Yes, I do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to that nickel over there, and we're going to get some nickel. Go to control nine, get eight. There we go, and dig. Come back! I am your saviour! Okay, never mind. Um, actually, what what would be a good idea is if we uh, got, a, got a barrier first. Yeah, getting a barrier might be a good idea. Stops them from escaping. Right. Uh, and then what we should just be able to do is go back in and just mine and then it should all land there good right yep stop knocking me away oh and this is uh, so m most of that is stone but s now we're getting to the nickel so what I should actually do is do this yeah hold right click on the stone to get rid of it Noting that it's not getting rid of the dirt for some reason, possibly because it thinks it's a different object, which it technically is. Um, right, yeah, let's just um, do this, do a bit of that, do a bit of this. No, I didn't want to do that. Um, well, it still works technically. Uh, so I, w I want to drop this seven, this six k stone that I've for some reason got, uh, and then I want to get the nickel. And then we want to mine again. Right, okay, that should be enough nickel for now. Um, yeah. I think I'm near max capacity on, on ores, so let's just keep going until I can't fit any more. Right, inventory's full. Good, right, let's head back. Oh, I, I was supposed to activate jetpack, wasn't I? Yes! Not external camera, jetpack. Get things right. Uh, right, let's move in. Let's go to the refinery. Hang on, what? 
I know. Uh, I know. That's the reactor for the other thing. Yes. Uh, throw that in. Nickel being produced. Good. Uh, let's go to the assembler. Go get production. And then what we want to do is disassemble. I don't know. Um, this. Why is it? F why? Why do we have three thousand here? That's a bit insane. Right, okay, so that should be getting us some iron, and then what we want is some nickel. We want, we want to get the nickel that's coming from here. Once we've got enough stuff, then we produce more motors until we don't need motors anymore. Uh, and then we might be able to get this thing done before sunrise, he says. Yee. It was supposed to be easy. I never asked for this. I never asked for this. Because apparently, ask you a question is the uh, replacement for ask you a question. Uh, refinery, let's throw that in. Yeah, the the, the refinery is basically going to be processing this nickel for now. Um, noting that that's basically what my mining is going to be for now. As uh, well, since we don't need that much, so basically, I go flying around in my little scout ship. I land near some you know above terrain stuff, mine it, throw it in the ship and continue until I need to head back to drop off resources which will be done by hand because that's how things roll today or rather all day um, but once I've got a dedicated mining ship the scout ship is basically there to fly around fast and detect where ore is basically uh, and then you know if I need a certain ore I will go to one of the deposits and then just mine uh, with mining ship or mining drill either will work yeah, uh, so I think that's going to be enough. Yeah, it is enough. Okay, let's go over here and get ourselves some motors. Uh, yeah, so you're just going to need a bit more nickel. In fact, you should pull nickel from here, so it's fine. All right, let's have a look. Hello, sir. Are you done yet? Uh, that's probably because I've not engaged them, have I? They're not on, are they? No, they're off. On. Weld the thing. This is what we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. There. Right. That should be everything. Until I inexplicably run out of something else. Which I probably have. Um, right, let's let's um, let's go back. Now let's check what we're out of because I think I know what it is. It is not motors. Interesting. What are we out of? Might it be detector components? Because I used uh, yes, that might be it. Uh, we we know outpost. Outpost. Go to detector. Oh, you're working. Okay, so yeah, that is. Oh yeah, it is working, because, uh, oh by the way, the range on that ore detector on the ship is 250 meters, the regular ore detector is 50, hence why I'm having a 250 one instead. Um, yeah, we should have all that we need. But alas, no. Hmm. How bizarre. Right, okay, so we're not out of anything. It may just be a case of turning it off and on again. The answer to all IT questions have you tried turning it off and on again? Not post welders off on. Well, technically, I could do these by myself because they're just. Uh, uh, yeah, let's, let, let's double check to see if everything's there. So. Oh, what do you need? Yeah, the landing gears might need things, and that's what they're trying to build. Well, no, 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 no. Let's look for things that aren't there, that should be. Or things that are under construction, but haven't finished. Right, let's uh, dive in here, see if we've got that. That's done. That's done. Those are done. 
uh, the conveyors are done. That's a that that's a new uh, atmospheric thruster modded one, uh, which looks well. It's basically like a large one, but in a flatter area. It's like you can use them for helicarriers and things like that. Um, proper hovercraft rather than using those engines. Um, yeah, right. Well, I should be able to do the rest of it. Uh, so let's let us let us turn off the welders before I kill myself again. And by again, I mean I haven't done that yet. No, definitely. Uh, what do you need? Uh, no, 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 no. We want to crouch. We want to crouch. Oh, we, we can't access it, can we? No. Right, let's, uh, let's go on our side and check out. I want to weld you, okay? You just, you're not being helpful. Yeah, this is not being helpful. Uh, oh yes, isn't it a thrill when you are unable to weld anything? Because that's how life works. Okay, right, let's just weld the rest of this stuff, shall we? And by weld the rest of the stuff, I mean get it into existence, um, because that's how we need to do things. Uh, you need to be done. You need to. This guy does. I may have to rethink the entire plan of doing this, because, um, well, I may have to rethink how this how this works. So maybe have some dips in so that I can go underneath the str underneath the vehicle. Um, might be a good idea. Is that it of that? Yes, good. Right, let's uh, weld these up then. Right. Okay, right, let's uh, back off a bit. Double check how much hydrogen I have. That's fine. Outpost welders on. Right, that should be it, right? So the only things that need building are a couple of those, a couple of these. Uh, yeah, okay, so what we can do, hmm? What we can do, outpost, uh, hide those, or rather, show those and see what needs building. They should come up as red. Ah, this thing. Right. What do you require? Yes, that would explain it, because it's a modded block. Uh, yeah, so what, what do you even need? Oh, you need thruster components. Why on earth do you need thruster components? Hmm, right. Uh, th that's probably why. Uh, well, what we can do is we could, theoretically speaking... Oh, no, we can't salvage from that. Um... I swear I had thruster components on this ship before. Yeah, we've got some. No, uh, yeah, it's on the other side, you doofus. Luckily, I have some thruster components randomly in my ship for no reason, though I remember being there because they're just randomly on my ship for no reason. So let's go and get that, let's go weld it up, and then let's go home and have a toasty. Um, or crumpet. Something like that. There we go. That's what it looks like when it's completed. Okay. So now that should be able to weld the rest of the stuff up because apparently, you know, you can't delicate. Um, on. Still not doing those. There may be a reason behind that, by the way. Uh, let's go to outpost. Let's go to control. Let's control it. Okay. Get. Uh, spectator camera, noting that this could be dangerous, and by dangerous I mean it could blow up this entire thing, well the ship. Um, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to lift it off the ground because maybe, just maybe, it's not liking that it's colliding with blocks below. Um, so we're going to do that. Might be fun, might kill me. Uh, well it won't kill me, I'm over there. So that, that, that's, you know, subject to uh, interpretation. Okay. Uh, so we're in control, right? Yes, we are. Right. So, go over here, unlock, go upwards.
Right. Right. Good. We're there. Right. Stop doing anything. Lock that. Now. Now, the only reason why this didn't actually die was because those uh, landing gear were on auto-lock. Yeah? Which is good. However, we've now got the delicate task of making sure that this thing now actually has enough fuel to fly and doesn't instantly explode upon uh, making it work. So, get rid of those. Okay, let's go get some uranium. Noting, I wanted to build landing pads today, but no, instead, the universe decided, hey, how about you do some massive, you know, annoyances to get this thing running. Let's uh, throw the rest of the thrust components in here, because for some reason I think I'm going to need them in the future. Uh, yeah, so we should just be able to... I have turned off... See? Uh, my... Uh, my non-death proves it. So what we can do is we can go in here... Oh uh, yeah, hang on. Helmet. <laughs> Yeah, for some reason I enter a cockpit, and suddenly, no atmosphere. For no reason. Uh, right, let's go, let's find inventory, reactor. We'll throw this in a reactor. Right. So, the ship is technically powered, right? And this is the part where I save. Yes, because if this goes terribly wrong, then everything goes terribly wrong, and then I'm just going to start swearing, though I really shouldn't. So what we should, you, should just be able to do is this. That thing is now ready to connect properly, so let's go over to, um, what? Why, why are you not broadcasting again? Come on, right, just, come, for God, you, you piece of, meh. Uh, yeah, we want, we want to show that on terminal, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Right. Broadcasting, please. Yes, now now I can remote control. Um, for some reason, your name's changed. Uh, I don't care. Uh, control, control. And then we want to we wanna lock. Okay? We want to lock. Yeah? Good. Solid. Right. Uh, so, we've now got the ship. It is currently floating, because that's how things work in this game. Uh, let's get rid of you. Get rid of this strut thing. And now, we have a ship. We have a ship. We have a ship. Right, okay. So currently, doing nothing will mean that we last for 93 days. Holding spacebar. Oh, yeah, just unpark. Park again. Unpark. Right. Inertia damper is online, which will uh, which gives us a fuel time of three hours to maintain this altitude. Uh, going upwards for an hour. Good. Right, going forwards an hour. Okay. Good work, everyone. Good work, ladies. We have now successfully got this working. Uh, right. So let's let's get the auto lock on, and then that's all we need. Though technically we also need the uh, we need the ore detector on there as well. Right, no, 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 weapons tools. Because apparently there's only three of them now. Um, ore detector on off. That on off because you know we may need to go into hiding, so I can turn that off. Gives me hardly any. Turn the ore detector off. Hardly any. Turn these. Uh, so basically, I can now turn on that. Nice. Now the frame rate is a bit low. That may be a bit annoying. But we should now be able to fly around in this thing. Uh, I'm probably going to change how this works just a tad at some point so that it will have lights and everything. Uh, but we should now have a ton and a ton of cargo containers. Yeah. Should be able to give us some, some uh, extra capacity. Because this thing is not supposed to haul cargo. Uh, right, so we should just be able to fly, right? Yeah, we can fly. I believe I can... No, 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 I'm not singing. Stop singing. Right. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to skim across the surface. And, uh, we should start picking up, uh, some, uh, ore detector signatures. Which, probably, we should be down here instead. 
noting that I need to keep an eye on my uh, on my velocity, otherwise I will get myself killed. Oh my, that, that that was a big frame drop. Oh god, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I definitely need to get an upgraded graphics card. That that was dangerous. Uh, right, yes, this thing does work. He says, The recording is still going on fine. My audio may be distorted because that's how things roll these days. Um, but yeah. Wh why, why are we having low simulation speed? Is it because I've done something completely stupid? Right, let's just uh, let's just get up there quickly. Get back, get back into range. Get back into higher detail range because something may have exploded. What, what's the what's the thing that allows you to see uh, the proper data of everything? Oh no, 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 we're back in the flow of things. Good, right. So, uh, in order to slow down, I could either do a full 180, or I go 90 degrees and, you know, flip and do that. Right. So, we should be able to land at some point, and that some point being when the simulation speed decides to increase, for some reason. Uh, yeah. And now we should just be able to land. And I'll, I'll use the second landing pad for now, but we're going to be building uh, a, a, a smaller, well, a, a group of small landing pads for these kind of ships uh, in the next episode. Uh, yeah, let's just land. Just land. Just land. That's all you need to do. It's all you will ever need to do. Just land properly and don't kill yourself. Right? You don't understand what don't kill yourself means, right? Probably not. Okay, then. We're doomed. Right, just gently does it. Gen gently does it. Gently. Urge uh, us off. Park. We're done. Good. Excellent. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have now got a scout ship parked and operational, and we're, we, we're not dead yet. I actually haven't died since I started the series, so... Uh, Hopefully we can keep that record. It's not going to happen. So, uh, now that we've got our scout ship, uh, I, I now have the ability to mine on this planet. Uh, the problem is, am I willing to? And that answer is going to be at some point, yes. Um, you know, once I've got it. No, I threw this away for a reason. I threw it away for a reason. And that reason was, it's a weird, not a number problem. It's like... It's very close to zero, but not exactly zero. Bloody floating point numbers. Oh, right. Thank you. I, I, I could have just done that from the beginning. Hmm. Yes, let's just th throw the scrap. Throw scrap into thing. Here, have scrap. Thank you. At least you give me something. Okay, so yes. So, in the next episode, we'll be building landing pads. More landing pads all the time. But designing a new type, these are going to be smaller ones, uh, suitable for scouts, because a scout using up uh, this kind of thing is, you know, I'll just give you a bird's eye view of it just so that you can see, it's kind of wasteful. It's like a sidewinder on a large landing pad, kind of wasteful. Um, so yeah, that will be next episode. But until then, my name has been Zero Jake, end transmission.